Creating the embroidery effect in Photoshop just got easier than ever. I'm Jesus Ramirez. In this video, I'll show you how to create embroidered patches and how to composite them into a jersey. Before you start, make sure you're working in the latest Photoshop beta, version 26.2. The first step is to remove the background from your logo. In this case, I can simply click on the Remove Background button. Next, go into Filter and choose Parametric Filters. From here, choose the Embroidery Filter. If you don't see it on the top, you can use the search bar to find it. When you click on the filter, Photoshop will apply the effect immediately. And as you can see, it looks incredible. This is definitely one of the best new filters in Photoshop. If you're working with a pixel layer, Photoshop will duplicate it and convert it into a smart object. The parametric filters are designed to be non-destructive, so they need to be applied as smart filters. From the parametric properties panel, you can customize your embroidery effect. Here are a few important settings. First, the number of colors. I'm currently using eight, but when I switch to two, Photoshop will give me blue and orange threads. But I think eight colors works best in this case. Another interesting adjustment is the imperfections, which controls the areas where the thread doesn't quite line up. I think having some imperfections makes sense and makes the effect more realistic, but a value of one is way too high. For this design, 0.25 works great. Then we have custom colors. Checking the box will make the colors this parameter controls gray. Then you can choose another color by clicking on the swatch and using the color picker to select a different one. In this case, I think the original blue color works best, so I'll disable the custom color. After you make all your adjustments, remember to switch the resolution to Ultra. It will make your design look more realistic, and I recommend waiting to change this setting once you're done. That way your computer runs faster as you experiment with all the parameters. Next, let me show you how to composite this patch into a jersey and apply effects to make it look more realistic. First, right click on it and convert it into a smart object. If I scale the layer without doing so, it will change the effect on the parametric filter and I don't want that. Now, with the move tool, drag the patch over the tab where your second image is. When it opens, move it to the center and release the mouse button. Then drag it into position. Next, let's apply two sets of adjustments, layer styles and the camera raw filter. Start by going into the FX icon and choosing bevel and emboss. From this window, adjust the depth and size slider to make this effect more three-dimensional. By the way, the best values to use depend on your image. Then apply a drop shadow, but change the color to a dark brown to better match the jersey. You can just click over the image. Now adjust the distance, size, and opacity to create a realistic contact shadow, which is the shadow closest to the patch. Again, the best values depend on your image. Now I'll create a second drop shadow by clicking on the plus icon. This shadow will be the longer cast shadow. So I will increase the distance in size and I'll reduce the opacity. Keep in mind that you can drag the shadow from the image to better position it. Then I'll press OK. Now let's apply the final adjustment. Go into filter and choose camera raw filter. I'll zoom in. Then I'll go into the effects panel and increase both the texture and clarity to make the threads pop. And I'll add green to make the image feel less digital. Then I'll press OK. And this is my result. What do you think? And if you made it this far, click like now and subscribe. I'm Jesus Ramirez. Thank you for watching.